Hi Manglings, it's Friday. I am really exhausted. The last time I looked at the clock last night before I fell asleep was 5.18, so that tells you that I didn't get a lot of sleep. It's currently like probably 9.30. I went up and got breakfast at like 9. I should have stayed in bed, but my friend is going to the city this weekend, and so I wanted to like go have breakfast with her one last time before she leaves for a few days, and then she ended up sleeping through our breakfast date, and I'm like, girl, you have no excuse, except she does, because she's been staying up a lot late to get ready to go to New York. Last night when I was awake at 4 a.m., I wrote something about being awake at 4 a.m., and it's almost like a spoken word poem, except it's like awful because it was written at 4 a.m. and I haven't even looked at it yet this morning. But due to lack of preparation for anything else and a lack of mental ability to do anything else, I'm just gonna read it to you. I hate 4 a.m. They say nothing good happens after midnight, but nothing good happens at 4 a.m. Even at a slumber party, 4 a.m. is bad. That's when half the girls are asleep, and thank God, because they should be. But the other half are past the point where it's fun to be awake and are looking for something exciting, adventurous, mischievous to keep them up. I doubt any research has been done, but I swear 90% of things that shouldn't happen at sleepovers occur at this strange limbo hour between late night and early morning. Five years ago, I went on a cruise, and the second to last night, my cruise friends and I decided to pull an all-nighter. We watched the sun go down on one end of the ship and come up on the other. I remember the highs of that night fondly, but I also remember the one low. And you guessed it, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. when all the drunk couples were sleeping towards their hangovers. 4 a.m. when the security guards stopped worrying about us teenagers breaking curfew and wreaking havoc on the ship. 4 a.m. when a handful of us power napped under the stairs, the guy next to me not even waking up when we stole his shoes off of his feet. Tonight's 4 a.m. is not like 4 a.m. at sea. Tonight's 4 a.m. is one where my roommate is asleep and I can't turn on a light for fear of waking her. Tonight's 4 a.m. is especially frustrating because I'm not restless or anxious like a hundred other times I've been up at 4 a.m. My eyes just won't stay closed. It's like Christmas is tomorrow and I'm waiting to hear reindeer, only tomorrow I have to go to class and I'm just waiting for this night to be over. I'm not even pulling an all-nighter because I need to or I want to. I'm pulling an all-nighter because my goddamn brain won't stop flipping through a slide reel of thousands of images and words that it's collected over the years. Why does 4 a.m. seem like a good time to think about credit unions and carrot sticks? Why is the building next door lit up in rainbow lights when nobody who appreciates its liveliness is lively themselves? Why can't I fall asleep? When you think about it, it's one of the only things that we're born knowing how to do. The thing I hate most about 4 a.m. is that once you see it, you might as well not even try to sleep anymore. 4 a.m. is hopeless. 4 a.m. is a tease, like, hey, maybe you will get to sleep, but too bad you won't feel at all satisfied when you have to wake up and be around other humans who fell asleep at an hour that isn't god-awful. 4 a.m. doesn't care that I hate it. 4 a.m. doesn't care about anything. 4 a.m. is the worst, and I wish I liked coffee. I'll see you next week. Zach, I'll see you tomorrow.